IELTS Life Skills B1 Speaking and Listening Test. My name's Angelina. Candidate A, what's your full name? My name is Bilal. Can you spell your name? B I L A L. Bilal. Where do you come from? I come from Lahore, Pakistan. How long it's been you've lived there? I have been living here since 16 years. Thank you. Candidate B, what's your full name? My full name is Omawunu Kemi Kolawale. What can I call you? You can call me Kemi. Can you spell your first name? O-M-O-W-U. N M Hi Omawumi. Where do you come from? I come from Ondo State in Nigeria. How long it's been you've lived there? I have lived there for 23 years. Thank you. Now, candidate A and candidate B. Find out from each other about each other's best friend. And how often do you make friends? You both have two minutes and your time begins now. Let's talk about our boy's friend. How do you make friends, Bilan? So, sorry? How do you make friends? But, uh, mostly I, I make friends. Uh, I make that of, uh, I make both friends who, who is, uh, you can say, who is good by, by nature and who is, uh, 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 mostly I, uh, do you? I, yes, yes. Do you make friends in your street? No, not much. Uh, uh, okay, do you make friends at work? Do you make, sorry? Do you make friends at work? Do you make friends at work? No, not really. Uh, uh, I make friends uh, like not not only from surrounding areas. I only make friends uh, that live in my you can say in my neighborhood or really near to me. So and uh, I not make friends uh, much. Uh, I just only have two to three friends. Okay, when you attend a party like birthday or wedding party, do you make friends from there? Yes, obvious, but uh, it, 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 it depends on uh, how they are. Uh, if they are to be good, then I will surely make friends. Uh, what about you? Uh, what about you? How do you make friends? I make friends in my neighborhood. I have like three friends from my neighborhood. Uh, do you make friends uh, from college? Yeah, but uh, no, uh, I had uh, I had friends, but now we are not in touch uh, nowadays. So be because everyone uh, is busy in, in their own routine, so that's why. Okay, do you make friends when you go out of traveling, like on trip? If you go out on trip, do you make friends from yeah. there? Yeah, 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 Mo mostly uh, I do. Because when, when we go out and when we go on some trip, we, 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 we have some friends for, you can say, spend, spending time there and or also discover the areas. So... Whenever uh, I, I I go uh, on trip and whenever 
I went on trip. Uh, I I surely make friends from there. Um, thank you, thank you, me. thank you so much, candidate A and candidate B. This is the end of phase one A. Now, candidate A, you will talk for ninety seconds about a sports competition you had attended in school, and candidate B, you will talk for ninety seconds about your activities on your favorite festival. So first, candidate A, you will talk for 90 seconds about your given topic. Candidate B, please listen carefully so that you can ask three follow-up questions. May I start me? Yes, please. So I would like to talk uh, and uh, in sport event that I have attended on, on my that I have attended on, on my school days. So <laughs> the sports uh, uh, our school at arranged a sport gala uh, in which uh, I have also uh, uh, in, uh, in which I, I am the also part of that sport gala. Uh, that that was really the experience was really good for me and I have performed there very well and I participate I participate in uh, our badminton team because uh, I, I like the badminton and so there uh, at that time uh, we got even we got a position uh, my, I and my teammate uh, we got we got we got position and we got some surprises from our management. So the sport the uh, sports gala uh, uh, we, we we really enjoyed uh, our sports gala at that time. Uh, and when we when we are child, so we are uh, obviously we most of uh, we are spend our most of time in sports and we, we like to, to play some sort of sports. So our experience at that time was really good. And Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate A. Candidate B, would you please ask three follow-up questions about a school competition that he attended? <laughs> Okay, how many hours did you spend at this sports competition? Sorry, can you how many hours? How many hours did you spend at the sports competition? Oh, oh, oh. We, we, we spent our time at sport, uh, we spent uh, around five hours uh, at our sport um, event. Okay, you said you participated in the sports competition. What position did you get from the sports competition? Oh, uh, okay. we, we got second position at our sports. Yeah? That's nice. That, that, and uh, what sports name did you participate, participate in? Uh, sorry? What is the sports name you participate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I participate in, in in badminton category. In the what? In in badminton, badminton. B a d m i n t o n. Thank badminton. you, thank you so much, candidate B, for your questions. Now, candidate B, talk about your topic for ninety seconds. Let me talk about. My favorite festival, my favorite festival is Christmas, where we go to the hometown, where I meet my grandparents. Not only me, I and my cousin most of the time, we go on Christmas. Christmas is a very big festival that I like so much. My favorite things to do on the festival is I like to buy cloth, new cloth to wear on the Christmas. 
I like to cook on the Christmas. Most of the time, the other people cook in the house, but I like to support them because I see them that I can learn a new thing from them in aspect of our traditional food. I like to go to my other cousin's house as well on the festival, which is Christmas, visit other cousin's family. We eat from there as well. We like to dance on this festival, which is Christmas. We like to conduct a dance competition where the, we, we choose an elderly person to judge our dancing competition with my cousins. We like to sing our traditional song as well. At this is my favorite festival, which is Christmas. We sing our favorite song, but it must be from traditional song that the elder of the house can understand. I like to. Thank you. Like Thank you so much. Thank you so much, candidate B. 90 seconds are over now. Candidate A. This is all I have to say about my favorite festival. Thank you. Candidate A, would you please ask three follow up questions? So, so, uh, okay, Kemi, how do you feel when you went to your hometown on festival? I feel so refreshed. I feel so relieved because the breeze in my hometown, it's so nice. I feel so good by eating the elder people food. The way they make their food, it's so nice with their own hand, with no machine or anything. That's great. So uh, what do you do mostly on your, on your festival? Uh, like as you talked about your Christmas day, what do you do mostly on that day? I like to cook with the Edda. I like to sing and dance with my cousins. I like to visit my cousins home because we are, we are very big family. And how often do you spend time with your, uh, with your cousin? On, on that day? Most of the time, if I went on this Christmas festival, I spent like five hours with them. And sometimes I sleep over to the house. I sleep over with my cousins in their house. Thank you. That's Thank you so much, candidate A. That's very nice of you. Now, we are going to begin with the next phase of the test. I'm going to share the screen with you and you have to plan and decide something together. Okay, now candidate A and candidate B, imagine that your friend is getting married. What gift would you like to get for your friend? A watch, makeup or tickets for honeymoon? Please first decide with each other. Okay. Um, as we are supposed to discuss about the gift we need to get for our friend, what do you think? Should we get a watch or we should get a ticket for honeymoon? I think so. I think so. We, we have to go for ticket for honeymoon for them. So because I totally agree with you. For getting tickets for them on their animal because this is going to relieve their expenses. Mm, then, we, then we 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 have uh, other option. We have to go. Please for decide what, what one so that it's you can okay. plan and decide it's okay. together. We can choose tickets for honeymoon. All right, tickets for honeymoon. Now plan and decide together all the points given on the right-hand side of the table. You have two minutes. Don't forget to mention all the points given within two minutes. Your time begins now. Why are you choosing this ticket for honeymoon for our friend? Because mostly uh, I... Uh, mostly some 
whenever i see the uh, whenever i see the new, newly married couple uh, they they uh, after after getting married they obvious plan to go to go for some honeymoon so that's why i i think so that's a best gift to for uh, and that's best that that is the best gift for them because um, because they also wanted to go some honey for honeymoon so uh, if we arrange honeymoon for them obvious uh, they will like it. obvious they will like it okay how useful your gifts will be for our friends <laughs> Like we need to make them happy, with their feel yeah, relief. So, 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 so they, they, they obvious. They will feel happy and they, they, they will enjoy that. They will enjoy the gift. So because they have no, like they will, they don't have any tension about to book, book. Uh, any honeymoon and uh, our and other uh, like um, all other um, things um, like hotel and all, yes, I think you things. are right. Yes, I think you are right. It will make them relieve of spending money on their honeymoon. This will be out yes. of their agenda of planning their wedding. Where will you like to buy this ticket? Yeah, uh, I know some agents, some travel agents. So, uh, so uh, surely I, I will go for. Uh, I, I would like to go there, and uh, I will talk them, and uh, I will see which one gives us gives us the best package. So I would like to buy from. You can thank say travel, you. Travel thank agents. you. Thank you so much, candidate A and candidate B. Now, please discuss with each other about the best present you have got in your life. Discuss with each other about the best present you have got in your life. You have three minutes and your time begins now. As we are supposed to talk about the best present we have got in our life, what presents have you get in your life that make you happy? Well, uh, I remember that uh, I, when, when, when I, I was a child, uh, my father said, uh, uh, I, I'm in the exam duration. So my father said to me that if you got, if you got the position in, in your exam, then uh, I will uh, I will give you the gift and I will bring you to some good restaurant. So uh, I I always remember that uh, gift. So when 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 I got when result came, I, I got the position and my father uh, gave me the gift. So that 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 was the uh, best present for me at that time so what about you the best present i ever got in my life and i'm happy is from my mother i got this present when i graduated from high school she bought me a watch i, I was not expecting to get a watch from her because the watch is not just an ordinary watch the watch is a, is something i can sell in the future I asked her, how did you get this watch? How? She told me that I got help from your brother. I told your brother that I need to give you something because I make her proud. In my high school, I was so happy. In fact, I wear this watch every day for six months. That is the first present I ever get in my life. What about you? Sorry. Uh, what about what's you? Your, can you can you repeat the? Yes. What about you? What is the best present you ever get? 
well uh, as i told you my my father gave me the uh, gave me the money at that time when i got position for my school so uh, i got 50 rupees from them and that was really meant for me at that time because 50 rupees was much enough and at uh, 50, 50 rupees was, was much enough at that time so uh, i i felt really proud at that moment so uh, i felt that uh, I, i was the richest person uh, uh, in in the world at at that time okay thank you so much candidate a and candidate b this is the end of the speaking test now we're going to move to the listening test i'm going to share the screen with you and you will listen to a recording with me and answer some questions all right okay ma'am uh just a minute please one speaking and listening to All right candidate A and candidate B please listen to the recording and tell me candidate A you will tell me what is the first message about a plane a train or a car candidate B you will tell me what is the second message about a plane a train or a car let's listen This is a message for Mrs. Susie. A plane, a train, or a car. Recording one. This is a message for Mrs. Susie Thompson regarding your flight FA two one six to Edinburgh on nineteenth of September. Unfortunately, there's a change to the departure time, which will now be at fifteen forty and not sixteen thirty, as previously informed. If you have any difficulty with this new departure time, please call the ticket office as soon as possible. We apologize for making this alteration, which is beyond our control. We remind you that you can only check in one piece of luggage. Also remember that we have reduced rates for parking at the airport when you book online. Recording 2. Hello, this is a station announcement. Mainline Rail is very sorry to announce that the 9:30 service from Cambridge to Stansted Airport is running approximately an hour late. This service is now expected at 10:30. In view of this delay, we would like to offer all ticket holders a free hot drink which you can obtain from the cafeteria situated on platform 1. We apologize again for the delay to this service which is because of the bad weather. That is the Stansted Express service which is running an hour late. Candidate A In the first recording, what type of transport is the message about? A plane, a train, or a car? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it was uh, the message uh, the message of plane ma'am a a plane thank you about a plane thank you can it date be in the second recording what type of transport is the message about yes a train thank you a plane a train or a car about a train thank you now listen again and answer these questions candidate b in the first recording 
new departure time of the flight. And what must the woman do if she has a problem? Candidate A. In the second recording, what time will the train arrive? And why is there a delay? Recording 1. This is a message for Mrs. Susie Thompson regarding your flight FA216 to Edinburgh on 19th of September. Unfortunately, there's a change to the departure time, which will now be at 15.40 and not 16.30, as previously informed. If you have any difficulty with this new departure time, please call the ticket office as soon as possible. We apologise for making this alteration, which is beyond our control. We remind you that you can only check in one piece of luggage. Also remember that we have reduced rates for parking at the airport when you book online. Recording 2 Hello, this is a station announcement. Mainline Rail is very sorry to announce that the 9.30 service from Cambridge to Stansted Airport is running approximately an hour late. This service is now expected at 10.30. In view of this delay, we would like to offer all ticket holders a free hot drink, which you can obtain from the cafeteria situated on Platform 1. We apologise again for the delay to this service, which is because of the bad weather. That is the Stansted Express service, which is running an hour late. All right. Candidate B, from the first recording, what is the new departure time of the flight? 15.40. Thank you. And what must the woman do if she has a problem? She can call the ticket office. Thank you. Candidate A, from the second recording, what time will the train arrive? Candidate A. Candidate A, please open your mic and tell. Hello. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When will the train arrive? Mm -hmm. Sorry, ma'am, I forgot. No worries. Why is there a delay? Ma'am, due to bad weather. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of the test. And you both have successfully passed IELTS Life Skills B1 speaking and listening test. Congratulations to you.